And were you drafted or did you enlist? No, I enlisted. I wanted to get in the service since the war broke out. <laughs> 1942. Hmm. And where were you living at the time? On the reservation. Okay. And why did you pick the service branch that you joined? Uh, the Air Force was closed, so I wanted to get in. And the next one was uh, the Army. Okay. So I went in the Army. Okay. And do you recall your first days in the service? Oh, yeah. Tell us a little yeah. bit about that. Well, uh, the first day was we went in to a barracks, we was to the barracks, and uh, uh, an old guy, he was in the uh, Canadian Army, and he came over and joined the uh, American Army. And he was showing me, telling me what how to make the beds and all that stuff like that. So, we had a good time there. <laughs> okay. And uh, what did it feel like, your first days in the service? Oh, sort of exciting, because I was interested in what was going on and how, how to get out of there, <laughs> <laughs> you know, further on, mm -hmm. how to get out of the first step into the second step. Hmm. So yeah. tell us about your boot camp and training experiences. Uh, in boot camp, uh, I was, uh, I carried the flag and uh, a lot of things were going PT and I excelled in most of PT, just about hmm. everything. Because I started out when I was Teenager, mm. <laughs> I knew I wanted to get in the service, and so I just ran up and down and <laughs> across the fields and different things like that. Oh. So, and do you remember your instructors? Oh uh, yeah. No, not too much though. But uh, I remember the uh, sergeant in charge of the barracks. So he was he was a, a ranger hmm. for. Uh, 10th Special, 10th Special Forces. Oh. So, and he, I, I admired him. And after basic, I went into a, a different school, and, and then I came over on weekend, one or two weekends to see, to thank him for, oh. for carrying me through and all that stuff like that. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. And which war? What war did you serve in? Well, it was Korean conflict. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That and where exactly did you go during that period? Oh, uh, we landed at uh, Incheon. In Korea? In Korea. Mm -hmm. Incheon, Korea. Landed there, went up on the landing crafts, went in. And there was a lot of fighting up up north. And you can see the traces. It's pretty. Mm -hmm. Every once in a while you see the tracer go back and forth. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Describe it as pretty, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty. I admired it. I said, ah, look at there. Look at those things. As long as they don't shoot this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't hit me. <laughs> Because we was just, it was just getting there. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And what was your um, job during that time? Job during that time? Let me see. I was, uh, oh, I couldn't drive a big truck. And I was in a trucking outfit. So I ran around in the, in the uh, compound driving, and we had uh, automatic, so so that was good. That helped me out. <laughs> and uh, I had the Jeep, went up, got the mail, and I was in the, the uh, for the PX, mm. for the PX, 
gave me a little shack, and that was that was where I lived lots of times. <laughs> Stayed oh, wow. right there in the shack to protect the the uh, merchandise. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. And every once in a while, I'd go up on the front line and <clears throat> deliver the mail with the with the ammo and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. So. Did you see any combat? Not really. Not really. 